first of all, very important, how do you see, Mr. Minister, the potential that Russia could have with economies such as those in the Middle East, in Asia, China, for example, India, for example, uh, for financial cooperation? Мир меняется, и меняется э, наши торговые партнеры Российской Федерации. The world is changing. Russia's trade partners are changing too. If earlier we used to orientate towards the Western partners, there were bigger volumes of trade with European countries. Now, under conditions of restrictions and sanctions, under the conditions of unfriendly actions, we have redirected our trade routes towards the east and south. We are developing cooperation with our other trade partners, Asian countries and countries of the global south, like India, Saudi Arabia and other Arabic countries. We are readjusting our trade routes and as a result we are diversifying our imports of essential goods, machinery from the countries which are friendly towards us today. One key trade partner today is China. This year we expect the trade turnover between our countries to reach more than $200 billion, which will mean a significant growth compared to previous years. We are sure that the development of our trade relationship between Russia and China with other countries of the Global South, with BRICS countries, will continue because the changes now will remain for the long haul, and these changes are global. We will also be developing not only our trade partnership, but also a financial relationship. As finance minister, for me, it is important to develop a financial relationship between investors from our countries, to reach a point where investors from Russia will be able to buy financial instruments in China, and investors in China will be able to buy financial instruments and bonds from Russia. We still have a long way to go to achieve this. Together with our colleagues from financial ministries, central and national banks, we are working closely on this topic, apart from the trade relationship. It is important to develop financial cooperation. That is what we are actively doing. Mm -hmm. I always wonder, Mr. Minister, you are shouldering great responsibilities in your position right now, when dramatic changes are happening. So you have to streamline everything or shall I say, re-streamline everything. We were conducting a very balanced and responsible budgetary policy recently. We were following the budget rule according to which all our revenue received from the export of hydrocarbons were not directed towards spending, but directed towards shoring up our national welfare funds. This is the first point. We have built up our reserves. We had low levels of budget deficit, and these reserves were achieved through very balanced policies, which help us overcome disruptions this year as well as last year, without any outstanding financial disproportion of the budget. But the budget also means rates, it is inflation, it is structural reforms, and it is also a means of supporting people. So to strike a balance between our spending needs and the resources which can fulfill those demands, it is really the work of financiers. I think in Russia we do strike this balance well, at least based on indicators like inflation, of how we fulfill our obligations, and directing our resources to fulfilling new goals. I think they speak for themselves. That is why a balanced budgetary policy has let us overcome this period with minimal losses and we will continue the same way. Despite all obstacles, we are setting ourselves a goal of fulfilling the budgetary requirements and principles we have spoken about. That means the rule of primary balance. It is not an easy target, but it lets us create conditions for developing the private sector of the economy, lowering inflation and building up our social welfare. And also, you know, there are so many innovations in the world, financial innovation, green innovation as well. How do you see all these new options for you as the chief of finance for your country? All the innovations which happen in the world are not alien to us. On the contrary, we are trying to support them and put them into practice. Yes, the questions of green economy which our country was following and consequent obligations were taken. 
Regarding CO2 emissions, it is a bit secondary for us at the moment because of all these restrictions and sanctions. We have some different priorities now. I'm telling you as it is. However, all the innovation already exists in the world, including the use of digital financial assets, attracting resources through digital finance, stablecoin. We are actively using them. The fact that China has launched the digital yuan here in Russia, we are also planning to develop the digital ruble in a trial run by the end of the year. It will be a foundation for monitoring the use of target expenses. We are planning to use it as an instrument for target budget financing. So all the innovation exciting in the world, we are examining and trying to put it into practice. Talking about the future, I know two of your children are learning Chinese even, Mr. Minister. We all live for our future, for our children, and we all wish our children to live better than we did. I suppose that we have inherited it from our parents and our grandparents, and we have the same feelings. That means that all our work, our gains, are to be passed on to our posterity. And the fact that my children are studying Chinese along with English, this suggests that we hope for developing our mutual cooperation. There will be more interaction between our nations. We hope that our trade relationship and relationship between our countries in general, from people's point of view, are putting our countries closer to each other and bringing mutual prosperity. So thank you so much, Mr. Minister, for joining us during your very tight day today at the St. Petersburg. Any best wishes? for all of us at St. Petersburg Forum, what do you think could be the result? The Forum is a time to review what has been done and what is still outstanding. To build up plans of how to develop, to figure out how the economy performs, international politics, finances, budget. It is time to meet your colleagues. There are international meetings as well, good places for discussing meaningful issues for us. The result of this forum is new plans for us. It is communication, setting goals, and learning something new. A new stage in our professional path, and consider that each new SPEEF meeting, we are learning something new, and it is pushing us forward until the next session of the forum. Uh, mm. yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Minister.